Hello, welcome to our classes. I am Dr. K.K. Misra. This video tutorial is up on multiple choice questions on operations research part 2. This I have compiled in view of the final examination, examination schedule to be held for even UG or PG students those who are to write this paper. Now come to the questions directly. Question number 1. When the total supply is not equal to total demand in a transportation problem then it is called options are a balanced b unbalanced c the degenerate d none of these correct option is b unbalanced question number two the solution to a transportation problem with m rows and n columns is feasible if number of positive allocations are Options are A, M plus 1, B, M cross 1, N, C, M plus N minus 1, D, M plus N plus 1. Correct option is C, M plus N minus 1. Question number 3. A firm that considers the potential reactions of its competitors when it makes a decision. Options are A is referred to as a price reader. B is engaged in strategic behavior. C is engaged in collusion. D is referred to as barometric firm. Correct option is B is engaged in strategic behavior. Now move to next slide. Question number 4. Which of the following is an example of strategic behavior? Options are A. A firm builds excess capacity to discourage the entry of competitors. B. A firm adopts the pricing behavior of a dominant firm under the assumption that other firms will do likewise. C. Firms in an industry increase advertising expenditures to avoid losing market share. D. All of the above are examples of a strategic behavior. Correct option is D. All of the above are examples of a strategic behavior. Question number 5. Which one of the following is a part of every game theory model options are a players b payoffs c probabilities d strategies correct option is b sorry uh, correct option is d strategies viewers let me tell you that by and large the correct options are highlighted here in case of any discrepancy found will be corrected through my narration now question number 6. In game theory, a choice that is optimal for a firm, no matter what its competitors do, is referred to as options are A. The dominant strategy, B. The game winning choice, C. Super optimal, D. A strategic selection. Correct option is the dominant strategy. Now move to next slide. Question number 7. Which of the following circumstances in an industry will result in Nash equilibrium? Options are A. All firms have a dominant strategy and each firm chooses its dominant strategy. B. All firms have a dominant strategy but only some choose to follow it. C. All firms have a dominant strategy and none choose it. D. None of the above is correct. Correct option is A. All firms have a dominant strategy and each firm chooses its dominant strategy. Now question number 8. Which of the following describes a Nash equilibrium? Options are A. A firm chooses its dominant strategy if one exists. B. Every competing firm in an industry chooses a strategy that is optimal given the choices of every other firm. C. Market price results in neither a surplus nor a shortage. D. All firms in an industry are earning zero economic profits. Correct option is B. Every competing firm in an industry chooses a strategy that is optimal given the choices of every other firm. Question number 9. Which of the following legal restrictions, if enforced effectively, would be likely to solve a prisoner's dilemma type of problem for the firms involved. Options are A. A law that prevents a cartel 
from enforcing rules against cheating b a law that makes it illegal for oligopolists to engage in collusion c a law that prohibits firms in an industry from advertising their services d all of the above would be likely to solve prisoners dilemma for the firms if you compare so the correct option here is c a law that prohibits firms in an industry from advertising their services question number 10 game theory is concerned with options are a predicting the results of bets placed on games like roulette b the choice of an optimal strategy in conflict situations c utility maximization by firms in perfectly competitive markets d the migration patterns of caribou in alaska correct option is b the choice of an optimal strategy in conflict situations question number 11 until recently medical doctors and lawyers have been prohibited from engaging in competitive advertising if the prisoner's dilemma applies to this situation then the presence of this restriction would be likely to options are a increase profits earned by individuals in these professions b reduce profits earned by individuals in these professions c have no effect on the profits earned by individuals in these professions d increase the profits of some and reduce the profits of other individuals in these professions correct option is a increase profits earned by individuals in these professions now question number 12 which of the following is a non-zero sum game options are a a prisoner's dilemma b chess c competition among duopolists when market share is the payoff d all of the above correct option is a prisoner's dilemma now move to next slide question number 13 which one of the following conditions is required for the success of a tit for tat strategy options are a demand and cost conditions must change frequently and unpredictably b the number of oligopolists in the industry must be relatively small c the game can be repeated only a small number of times d firms must be unable to detect the behavior of their competitors c uh, sorry now correct option is b the number of oligopolists in the industry must be relatively small question number 14 a game that involves interrelated decisions that are made over time is a options are a sequential game b repeated game c zero sum game d non zero sum game correct option is a sequential game question number 15 a firm may decide to increase its scale so that it has excess production capacity because by doing so it is able to options are a minimize its average cost of production b establish a credible deterrent to the entry of competing firms c take advantage of a dominant strategy in prisoners dilemma d attain a nice equilibrium and avoid repeated games correct option is b establish a credible deterrent to the entry of competing firms question number 16 in game theory the outcome or consequence of a strategy is referred to as the options are a payoff b penalty c reward d end game strategy correct option is a payoff question number 17 which of the following is an example of a game theory strategy options are a you scratch my back and i will scratch yours b if the shoe fits wear it c monkey see monkey do d none of the ever correct option is a you scratch my back and i'll scratch yours question number 18 in game theory a situation in which one firm can gain only what another firm loses is called a options are a non-zero sum game b prisoner's dilemma c zero sum game d cartel temptation correct option is c zero sum game Question number 19. A plan of action that considers the reactions of rivals is an example of options are a 
accounting liability b strategic behavior c accommodating behavior d risk management correct option is b strategic behavior question number 20 a strategy that is best regardless of what rival players do is called options are a first mover advantage b nice equilibrium strategy c tit for tat d a dominant strategy correct option is a first mover advantage now question number 21 a game that involves multiple moves in series of identical situations is called a options are a sequential game b repeated game c zero sum game d non zero sum game correct option is b repeated game question number 22 sequential games can be solved using options are a tit for tat b dominated strategies c backward induction d risk averaging correct option is c backward induction question number 23 a prisoner's dilemma is a game with all of the following characters except one which one is present in a prisoner's dilemma options are a players cooperate in arriving at their strategies b both players have a dominant strategy c both players would be better off if neither choose their dominant strategy D. The payoff from a strategy depends on the choice made by the other player. Correct option is A. Players cooperate in arriving at their strategies. Question number 24. A firm that is threatened by the potential entry of competitors into a market builds excess production capacity. This is an example of options are A. A prisoner's dilemma. B. Collusion. C. A credible threat. D. Tit for tat. Correct option is C, a credible threat. Now, question number 25. What is the fundamental purpose of the game of game theory? Options are A, to analyze decision making. B, to analyze strategic interactions. C, to predict decision outcomes. D, to predict firm behavior. It is C, to predict decision outcome. So, this was all about this video tutorial. More quality questions on other topics will be made available to you in my upcoming video tutorial. Thank you very much. Please share, like, share and subscribe and forward it to many those who are needy now and in the future. Thank you. Have a nice time. Best of luck.